Hey girl, hey, so I'm gonna be doing a haul today and it's not just another wimpy little, oh, a couple random little drugstore things I bought here and a couple things from here. It's actually like a haul that I bought stuff online, so it's a party. Oh, and I switched my background yet again. This is like the fifth time. I am never really 100% happy with my backgrounds and I use this as a background. It's my vanity, BT dubs. Um, in my things guru, beauty gurus don't say video because I didn't want it to be so repetitive so I tried to switch the background a little bit and so I tried for this one for one of them and a couple of people actually liked it and asked me to film here so I decided to at least try it in a video comment down below what you think of this background my window my vanity um, yeah I kinda like it it's alright but I mean the other one's fine too I don't know I'm just trying it I ordered some stuff online from Victoria's Secret, Ulta, and Nailsupplies.us, which is just a nail polish wholesale website. So um, let's just get started with Victoria's Secret. Shh. Really small from Victoria's Secret. It's going to be quick. Um, I just got a pair of yoga capri pants because, well, I think they're just called cropped yoga pants on the website because I am taking a yoga class at school this semester. So I only have one pair of yoga pants otherwise. So I thought I'd pick up another and might as well make them capris. Cause you never know when I'm gonna want to wear capris. Gray banded with like neon leopard cheetah print and it says love pink and silver. So I thought these were really cute and they're really comfy. As usual, Victoria's Secret yoga pants are the best. The only other thing I got from Victoria's Secret is a pair of undies that are made to go with yoga pants. So I don't really feel like I need to show you them because they're just underwear. So that's it from Victoria's Secret. It's short, sweet, to the point. Let's go on to Ulta. I've never actually ordered from Ulta before online and I discovered that you get three samples kind of like Sephora does. So. That was exciting, and I'm going to show you what I got. I got the Benefit Professional Pore Minimizing Balm, and the Philosophy Miracle Worker Anti-Aging Moisturizer, and Biore Blemish Fighting Ice or Cleanser. Ice Cleanser. I don't know what that means. I guess it's just supposed to be cold like ice. I don't know. Whatever. We'll see. The first thing I got, the main reason I ordered from Ulta is because I needed to repurchase my concealer, which is my Amazing Cosmetics Concealer. It's the Amazing Concealer. Amazing Cosmetics. Amazing Concealer. Can, oh, what the heck? Say that five times fast. It's just in light golden. This is what it looks like. It's still small size because I don't want to spend like 40 bucks on the big size, so small is fine, right? And I got this because I love it and it's amazing. And if you didn't know, it is the world's best concealer. Yeah, self-proclaimed world's best concealer right here. Next is something I don't normally purchase. Um, I went ahead and got a perfume-ish. I got a rollerball. I didn't buy the whole perfume because I cannot purchase whole size perfumes, you guys. If you saw my perfume collection, you know how pathetic it is. And I would never grow through it. And plus, I actually had never smelled this before I bought it, which was like really out there for me. But I heard really good things about it and people recommended it to me in my perfume collection based on like since I liked and stuff, they said I like this, so it's Taylor Swift's Wonderstruck perfume, and um, I think this was like $18 as a rollerball, maybe around there. So cute, I love the purple and gold, and um, ah, caught that. I actually really do like this scent. It smells, it smells kind of like Viva La Juicy, it kind of reminds me of it, but it's a little more like fresh and fruity almost. Okay, you know I can't describe scents for crap. I do really like this, so. And I'm really picky when it comes to perfumes. Then in order to get free shipping, I had to spend a few more dollars, so I just bought a couple NYX lipsticks because if I'm going to pay shipping, I might as well get some lipstick out of it, right? First one is a really fun color. This is in Stella, and it is this really pretty, bright, it's a very springy color, um, bright hot pink with a lot of yellow undertone. It's more of a corally kind of pink and let's let's do some swatches ladies and gents. I do really love this color though. I think it looks really good on me because I have such a warm skin tone. So the warm tone of the lipstick is awesome. So there it is there. Very fun. The next one I got is kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum. This is a totally blue toned lipstick and this is in Pink Lyric. So it looks like this, another hot pink, but it's definitely more that blue, kind of purplish fuchsia look to it. And it looks like this, which I don't normally like these lipsticks on me, but I think this one actually looks kind of good. I'm wearing it blended out a little bit right now, so reference, yes. Vogue the lips, Vogue the lips. So you can kind of see that Stella has more of a 
salmon-y tone and Pink Lyric has more of like raspberry tone. And that's all my old stuff right her. Last but not least, I stocked up on some nail polish for the spring and I ordered this off of nailedsupplies.us. I'll have them linked down below and they're just like a wholesale kind of sketchy looking website but they're totally legit I promise and they have a lot of discounted nail polish and such so I bought some. Yeah. I went a little Essie crazy because, okay, this is what happened to me last spring is like I was shopping on there and I saw that Essie was $4 and I was like, heck yes, I'm all over that. So I got a bunch of Essie because it was like half off because they're normally eight. And then I did my haul of it and people are like, what are you talking about? Essie is $8 on there. And I was like, what? So I checked and it was $8. And I thought that was just like how it was on the website it was $4 like flat. But I guess it was some sort of special or sale or something. Um, but it didn't say anything of the sort on the website, like nothing looked abnormal about it. Not like, limited time only, I see half off. It wasn't anything like that. It was just really weird. And then it was back to eight. And recently I was on that website again and I saw that Essie was $4 again. So I hopped on that. I tweeted it when I saw it. I don't know if it's still $4. They're really, really random with that, but I'll have that link down below regardless and you can check it out. Okay, so first I got a couple of really nice staple pastels for the spring. Pastels are my favorite colors to wear in the spring. So they're just really, really light colors. And this is Essie's Borrowed in Blue, which is a really pale, it looks kind of whitish on camera, but it's just a really pale baby blue color. This kind of looks like a color you'd see in like a baby boy's room, but it's really pretty, I swear. I've always wanted a pale pink, but I don't have one surprisingly, because I have so many nail polishes except a pale pink. Don't know how that works. Um, but Sparkly Barbie XO or Casey, I love her to death. She actually recommended this in her nail polish obsession tag and this is Raise Awareness by Essie. So it's just a really pretty pale ballet slipper pink. And this is to support breast cancer, so yay. Totally paint the walls of like a baby girl's room and a baby boy's room with these. I just realized that. This one is from the Go Overboard collection. It's like a mini collection. This is the main color of the collection and it's actually called Go Overboard, so. It's a really pretty darker kind of teal color and it looks more blue on camera but it has a little more green in it in person. And it's just a cream color. This is kind of a good transition between winter and spring because it's dark for winter but it has that like bright color undertone for the spring. And then this color I'm not sure, I don't remember if this was in the Go Overboard collection or if it was in the spring collection but I bought it and I love this. It's so unique. This is called Playdate and it is just a solid like creamy bright purple but it's not like bright it's like light but it's not dark I don't even know it's just like a perfect it's lighter than most purples in nail polish but it's not like light it's not like I don't even know I don't even know you have eyes tell me what it is 100% sure this is in the spring line it's like the center main polish of the spring line and it's called navigate her and this color is super in for spring as far as nail polish I know it's this pretty yellow tone green pistachio color. I got two polishes from the Luxe Effects line and I already have one. It's called a Cut Above. It's like a pink, different glittery kind of color. And I wanted to get these before they're gone. I don't know if they're permanent or not, but I thought I might as well pick them up now. Um, so the first one is called Shine of the Times. This is such a unique polish. It's insane. Like it doesn't look that special right here, but it's just over the top of nail polish. It's amazing. It does this like really cool, it's almost like little tiny flakes of rainbow multicolored dual chrome goodness in a nail polish. I tried to grab the swatch and it brought a friend along, but we're just going to ignore that. Tried it over the top of this periwinkle color here, if you can see that, and the way it reflects the light and just the texture and the colors that jump off of it is so awesome. Other Lux Effects polish I got is just like a cut above except silver, and this is in set in stones. Gorgeous work that glitter polish. I'm actually wearing it right now. I filmed a nail tutorial on these nails and it's just like a reverse gradient nail so they're the Lux effects on the top. And that's it for Essie. The rest, oh <laughs> I'm a liar. I have one more Essie. This is the Mad About You top coat and I got this because I have been eyeing it forever but then recently in my nail polish obsession tag I realized that I actually did want to buy it flat not glossy at all kind of matte. That's what I mean. I got this Orly polish, which I have been on the lookout forever also, so yeah. Someone, I don't remember who, um, was wearing this in a video, and the whole time I was staring at her nails, I was like, oh my gosh, what is she wearing on her nails? I will kill myself because I really want to find this nail polish. And then at the end of the video, she's like, if you were wondering, I'm wearing Orly's Rage on my nails, except 
I mean, how ironic is that? Because how often are you actually wondering what they're wearing on their nails? Like, never, right? But I actually was. Really pretty, like, coppery penny color with champagne. This finish of it is beautiful. So the last two purchases were from China Glaze. So, um, the first one is the color I'm wearing in my nail tutorial. I put this on. And this is from the Electro Pop Collection. And this is called Wabam. Oops, it's upside down. That's embarrassing. Wabam. Focus. Okay, come on. Wabam. Aquadelic. <laughs> kind of bright turquoise blue color. And it's like for Audrey kind of, except it's a lot brighter and more blue tone than green. So I like this a lot. The other color I also got from the Electro Pop Collection. And this is in Techno, which I know people have been trying to get their hands on a lot. And I was surprised it was in stock, but it was. And it is so cool. It has a lot of finely milled silver shimmer in there, but also it has these big hexagonal rainbow deflecting um, glitters also. So that is my entire purchase from nailsupplies.us. I love nail polish. I have so much, you guys. I have a problem. So that is it for my entire haul. We have finished. This is the end, the finish line of the race of hauling. Comment down below what you think of this setup. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it again, but I kind of like it. What else to say? So I'll just see you later. Bye. Whatever you do, don't follow me on Twitter.